Filming these videos are so tough, man. And sometimes I just feel like giving up. I, I gotta thank you guys so much for constantly tuning in for those of you that do tune in. How's it going guys? Caden with Pulse and SRT here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm going to be showing you guys the main differences between the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk and the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. I have owned both SRT and I just got the Trackhawk about a couple weeks ago. So I thought I'd make a comparison video comparing the SRT to the Trackhawk. They are both 2018s and they are very similar vehicles, but two completely different beasts guys. So if you guys are new to Full Send SRT here on the channel, we cover everything Mopar, everything muscle car to be honest guys. I have this Trackhawk here that I got two 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokees, a Laredo and an 80th anniversary edition. And I am also building the world's first 1966 Chevy C10 truck Stepside short box ZR1, guys. That's right, I'm putting a ZR1 engine in a 1966 Chevy truck, guys. So if you're into cars, into muscle cars, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys, and hit that notification bell for upcoming content. But guys, let's get right into the main differences between the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk and the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. Like I said, they are two similar vehicles, but two completely different beasts. To start off, we are gonna go over the cosmetic differences, then the interior differences, and then the powertrain differences. So guys, let's start off with styling. Let's start from the front. As you can see, the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT and the Jeep Trackhawk look very similar. Only a seasoned vet or seasoned professional could actually tell the difference. Do you guys know the difference between the SRT and the Trackhawk's front? Well, if you do, you are a seasoned Hellcat Trackhawk professional and enthusiast. If not, guys, here are the two differences between the SRT and the Trackhawk's front bumper. Now, if we take a look at the front of the Trackhawk's front bumper, you'll notice all seven front bezels are actually a metallic bronze. As opposed to the SRT, those will all be blacked out. Now guys, before 2017, the front bumper on the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRTs were all silver, but in 2018 and above, they blacked them out on all vehicles. It's not even an option, they just come blacked out from the factory. As opposed to the Trackhawk, you can only get the front bumper in that metallic bronze. I personally would prefer it all blacked out guys, but that is one of the differences on the front bumper from the Trackhawk to the SRT. Now guys, the second difference from the front between the Trackhawk and SRT is very subtle. Like I said, only seasoned vets and seasoned professionals would actually notice what the difference is. Let me give you a second to take a look and compare. If you guys noticed, the front fog light is missing on the Trackhawk. That is because this vehicle has a 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with over 700 horsepower and it needs more airflow than the SRT to cool off that engine. Here you can see on my SRT, it did have a front fog light. Now guys, for cosmetics on the side of the Trackhawk and compared to the SRT, this is the most obvious one. This is how everyone knows that they're looking at a Trackhawk as opposed to the SRT. And guys, I think you can pretty easily guess this one. That is going to be the yellow Brembos on the Trackhawk as opposed to the SRT's red Brembo brakes. The brakes in the Trackhawk are also a little bit bigger, but you would never really notice at first glance. But this is going to be the biggest difference cosmetically that everyone points out when they see a Trackhawk as opposed to the SRT. That's going to be those yellow brake calipers. But guys, there is always the fakes out there. There was always the guys who take their SRTs and paint their calipers yellow just to look like they have the track hot guys. But you're not fooling anyone with that 475 horsepower. But guys, I absolutely love the SRT. I love the track hot. I love all Grand Cherokees, hence having three. And I've had a few people ask about my wheel and rim setup on this track hot guys. The rubber on my wheels are completely stock. They're 295s, but the rims on my track hot are actually off a Challenger Hellcat. They are 295s all around and you can see they stick out past the fenders just a little bit. Okay, okay guys, we got security behind me. Let's see if he kicks me out. I think we're safe, guys. I think we're, we'll live to see another day. This is like the craziest spot I've ever filmed at. You can see all of downtown. It looks really good. Check it out. All my bros from Edmonton, Alberta, if you guys ever see me around, don't be afraid to say hi, guys. I'll take you for a ride in the Trackhawk. You can start it up. And if you guys are from Edmonton with an SRT or Trackhawk or Hellcat, guys, I'd love to film a video with you. So uh, drop a comment down below if you have any cool vehicles and let's film a video, guys. I'm not famous. I'm just a guy with a Jeep. So if you guys want to film a video together, drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to collab. Oh, yeah. Look at this shot. That is such a good shot. This Trackhawk looks so good. And guys, if you've watched my previous videos with my 2018 Grand Cherokee SRT, I did a couple mods to that one. I actually had it lowered on Mopar lowering springs and I had my, my front hood matte black. Looked really good, guys. I might do that with this one, but I also might wrap it full satin black and absolutely slam it, put drag radios on the back. I think that'd look really good. 
Guys, I was also going to get the oil spill exhaust tips, like, you know, like the rainbow colors for the exhaust tips. I think those look really good. I think SRT Ninja USA has them and they look so dope. But guys, this is where the other difference between the Trackhawk and the SRT is at the back. This is one of the biggest differences that you'll notice on the vehicle. And that's going to be the quad exhaust. Now, guys, the exhaust system on the Trackhawk sounds completely different uh, to the SRT as well. This one sounds more like a Hellcat. I'll start it up. Take a listen. definitely gonna kick me out so guys the track hawk's actually a little bit higher pitched in my opinion over the srt but guys if you don't know what you're looking at this track hawk just looks like a regular thirty thousand dollar jeep grand cherokee anybody can put challenger hellcat rims on their jeep anyone can paint their calipers yellow anyone can put quad exhaust on their vehicle but guys let's take a look at the interior now and point out the main differences from the srt to the track hawk this is kind of funny in my opinion Guys, the biggest difference between the Trackhawk and the SRT is going to be that it says Trackhawk right here on the seat. And it doesn't say SRT on the wheel. It just says Trackhawk on the bottom. And guys, I find this hilarious because there's about a thirty dollars to $40,000 price difference between the Trackhawk and the SRT. And there's absolutely no difference between the interiors of both vehicles. Honestly, guys, the difference between the Trackhawk interior and a base model Grand Cherokee's interior is honestly just going to be the carbon fiber trim that costs about a couple hundred bucks. So guys, if you want to show off and you want to show how much money you have and showboat with your car, this one definitely isn't it. I paid about $103,000 for this vehicle and my SRT I sold for about seventy dollars just a couple months back. So there is about a $30,000, $40,000 price difference between the two. They are very similar vehicles if you're just looking to show off. If you're looking for a Trackhawk over the SRT, you got to be a true car guy to get into a Trackhawk because there is not too many luxuries in this vehicle for the price you pay guys this is the same price as a 2007 911 turbo this is the same price as a lamborghini gallardo same price as a ferrari f430 2015 g63 porsche cayenne turbo a 2016 or 2015 model guys so you really got to be into mopar and be into big engines guys and going fast because if you're not first you are last Let's note some of the other differences between the SRT and the Trackhawk. Obviously on the SRT, it's going to say SRT in place of Jeep right here. There will be no lettering on the bottom of the steering wheel. The paddles are the same. The wheel is the same. The carbon fiber weave is a different weave in the SRT, but the average person wouldn't know that. Guys, you can also get the Laguna leather interior in the SRT, but it is not as common. That's why I wanted it in the Trackhawk because I kind of feel like the normal SRT Alcantara seats are meant for the SRT and the Laguna belongs in the Trackhawk. Now, both SRT and Trackhawk have panoramic sunroofs. You can both option them for the DVDs in the back, I do believe. One thing that I really like about the Trackhawk and the Laguna leather interior is going to be the paneling on the door. You can see we have a nice carbon fiber and the whole door is actually stitched leather. Maybe you can see it a little bit better over here. Yeah, there you go. You can see the hand stitched leather all the way to the bottom of the door sill. And then you can see we have more stitching along the door. And we have some pretty cool stitching along the door as well. Looks really good. I won't lie guys, I absolutely hated the Laguna seats when I first saw them. I thought they looked really weird and tacky, but honestly they grew on me over the course of about a couple of years guys. It took me a couple years to warm up to them, but I couldn't afford the vehicle back then so it didn't really matter. I gotta give a big shout out to all my viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in to Full Send SRT guys. I work on these videos so hard night and day. I've been trying to put out one to two videos a day and it's taken about 10 to 11 hours of filming and recording guys. Filming these videos are so tough man and sometimes I just feel like giving up. But uh, I got to thank you guys so much for constantly tuning in for those of you that do tune in. If there's any other content you guys want to see, be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll try my best to make the video. But guys, that's the interior for the SRT and the Trackhawk. They are completely the same. There is no differences, just badges here and there. But guys, if you're buying the Grand Cherokee SRT or Trackhawk for the luxury, don't. Because there isn't too many luxury features with this vehicle. They have the exact same space in the front, exact same space in the back, and exact same space in the boot or the trunk. Let's take a look at the back of the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk now. As you can see, I obviously have my little stand there, but there is there is plenty of interior room. I am six foot two, and this is where my seat usually sits, and I sit perfectly fine in the back. If you want, you can also plug in your HDMI for your Xbox and play some games. Let's go take a look at the trunk now and see how much room we have back there. 
What's also nice is the details on the door, even for the back of the vehicle with, with the Laguna leather package, but it better be nice because this package is $8,000. Guys, this is the ultimate daily driver. It has 700 horsepower and you can fit absolutely whatever back here, guys. Hockey gear, soccer gear, golf clubs. You can fit literally anything back here. We also got a spare tire with, with a couple extra goodies. Now guys, I'm gonna show you what you're paying the 30 to $40,000 price difference for. That's gonna be under the hood. Oh yeah, guys, on the SRT, it's gonna say SRT on the door sill as opposed to the Trackhawk saying supercharged. For some weird reason, Jeep did not wanna associate the Trackhawk with the SRT name. I think that's a little Easter egg for what's coming in the year 2022 with the new models. I don't think they're gonna be associating the Grand Cherokee with SRT anymore, and they're just gonna leave SRT for Dodge. That's why I bought this now. This vehicle has actually risen about 10 to $15,000 in price since I bought it about two weeks ago, especially for the mileage, and since this one is actually fully loaded. But guys, let's take a look at the biggest difference between the Trackhawk and the SRT, guys. The Trackhawk is gonna have this big 6.5 2 liter supercharged v8 with 707 horsepower and 695 foot pounds of torque i do believe and the srt is going to have a 6.4 liter naturally aspirated v8 with 475 horsepower and 470 foot pounds of torque this is the sexiest engine i have ever seen guys it's all orange down there and then you see this big hellcat supercharger you can see we have the hellcat logo on there as well this is the engine that's out of every other regular hellcat such as the challenger hellcat charger hellcat and durango hellcat and ram trx a little easter egg on the hood is going to be that srt logo there as well this logo is also on the jeep srt and guys this trackhawk is also standard ride height i haven't lowered it at all but i do plan to <laughs> Guys, let's talk about numbers and statistics for the Trackhawk versus SRT now. Now guys, if you are looking for a vehicle that is just relatively quick, go with the SRT. But if you want something completely out of this world, go with the Trackhawk. The Trackhawk will do 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds. Some have reported 3.4. The Jeep SRT will do 0 to 60 in 4.4, which is still insane for a stock SUV with factory warranty. The Trackhawk here stock will hit a top speed of 190 miles per hour, as opposed to the SRT, I believe tops out around 165 to 170. Now, if you guys are drag racing junkies, this is where it matters the most. The Trackhawk stock with no mods will do the standing quarter mile in just 11.7 seconds, as opposed to the SRT doing it in about 14 or 13.7. This is one of the fastest SUVs money can buy. There's absolutely nothing that compares with it for the price. If you want this level of performance, you're going to have to spend about $300,000 on a Lamborghini Urus. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button, guys, for the YouTube algorithm, and we'll see you in the next one. Like I said, if you guys have any other suggestions uh, for upcoming videos, Videos, be sure to comment down below and I'll do my best to make them guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Full send SRT signing off. Peace.